Curse, Season 1, Episode 4, Title, The Red Lake. And this episode is another good episode. There's a couple things that I'm curious for, if that makes sense. You know, the whole thing of like, hey, it's Episode 4 of 10. We're nearly halfway. Um, so there's maybe concerns or whatever you like to call it. But, like... The stuff done with Merlin. At the beginning, I'm like, okay, Merlin, you know, there's a woman that he, you know, his magic is gone. There's a, that he's a drunk. He's this, he's that. And, and the quest is are having our main character get a sword to Merlin. And you're like, okay, that's the concept. But at this point, I'm like, where is it going? Because... Basically, after episode two, he's a he's just busy getting drunk, and this episode he's talking to like what zombie-ish body, like zombies basically, and they have a zombie king and all that. I I'm basically not sure where that story story is going, but. With everything else, doing with Arthur, with our main character, uh, there's a really good action sequence. It's short-lived action sequence, but it, you know, well choreographed. Uh, <laughs> it's a Frank Miller like, thing, so it's 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 gonna have a lot of blood. There's gonna be a lot of blood. I mean, there's a reason why it's called the Wet Lake. It's called because this episode's called the Wet Lake because we see a giant lake that's full of blood. <laughs> you know. Um, you have a good action sequence, uh, you have um, some beautiful like cinematography, you have this and that. You have, um, like, here's the thing, last episode we got introduced to one of the nuns um, from this, like, church thing, which I knew from the beginning, at the moment they spoke, they were going to be the one who's going to be, like, the betrayer, or the one who's like, I need this, like, like, I deserve more, I want to be the high ups, I want, I want, I want, and you're like, yep, you burned down, spoiler, you burned down the full fucking church, so, clearly, you, you believe the calling is otherwhere, but, God, the one thing I was to talk about, this. Not hard to watch, but it's just like, oh my god, what am I looking at in a tale of horror? There's a, a moment that we see a little bit of um, witch burning, and it's really that. And, but not, it's like, not just the burning, but the journey of it. You know, getting captured, then go to, go to the cross. In this case, getting crucified, and then getting burned, and it's like... Jesus, what was <laughs> like? You just go like, oh my god, oh my god. But yeah, here's the thing. Like, the first episode I found was a little bit wonky, but the rest of the show, the, the, these last three episodes are really getting me engaged, really getting me invested with, with the characters. Just still curious about Merle and what his stories kind of fall under. But yeah, this. Show is pretty good. I at this point, I if there's a season three, I'll probably 